think I need I think I need that brush with the oh, little brushes. The, I didn't notice. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm sure there's a purpose and I want to know what it's for. Yeah, I don't I don't know the purpose. Sitting by the windowsill Walking down 8th Avenue with you My fingers touching the light You pull back blushing delight Call me when you get back home Meet me at Manhattan Hench Meet me on deck below the circle I'll be waiting there for Meet me 
My sister got an olive rug made for me. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? So she surprised me with this rug because I reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is still pretty crazy to me. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, so she surprised me with this rug as like a little congratulation gift and I thought it was so sweet. So if you guys don't know who Olive is yet, it's my original character. Um, I haven't illustrated her much these days, but I plan to. I just haven't been in the mood. But yeah, so like this was one of the first drawings I did of her. And of course, I had to include a boba cup in there. But yeah, she's super cute. I love it. One day when I have my own studio, it's just going to be like the perfect thing to finish it off. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it on the floor or I'll hang it up, but I want to preserve it. I don't want it to get dirty. Um, but yeah, she is so cute. Like the detail in this. I'll make sure to link the artist below um, who she commissioned. So I got a super cool package in the mail this week and it was sent to me by FlexiSpot. They kindly reached out to me and wanted to gift me one of their standing desks, which I've been in need. And so I was super excited to receive it. And so here are some clips of me unboxing it and setting it up.
for dad to bring the power tool because we need to drill four of these here and then one here and one here and there's no holes on the table and knowing us we're gonna like put it in crooked so we're just gonna wait for my dad So a bit more about FlexiSpot. So they sell a variety of office equipment, chairs, desks, and so they have a variety of standing desks, different models, different price points. So I feel like there is something for everyone's budget. The desk that they sent me was the FlexiSpot Dual Motor Standing Desk Pro Series. A bit of a chunky name, so I'll type it out. It's really funny because I've been talking to my sister about investing in a standing desk for a while now. If you guys have seen my previous vlogs, you guys know that I don't do art full time. I actually work during the day. I work the typical nine to five. And so I'm stuck sitting on a chair in front of a desk for eight hours of my day working. And then on top of that, I'm balancing my art. And so I end up sitting even longer because I'm either painting or editing a video or drawing on my iPad. So I spent a majority of my time sitting and it's been straining my back. Um, I feel like I have terrible posture. I have that artist shrimp posture that we call. Uh, like we end up having like curled up backs by the end of the day once we're done with like our art session. If you're an artist, you guys probably relate. And so just having the option to be able to stand while doing some of my work or doing art is gonna be a game changer for me. I'll definitely be sharing my desk with my sister. She does a lot of stamp carving so she strains her neck quite a bit because she's always like looking down when she's like carving. So if you guys have been dealing with the same issues, you guys work from home or you're a full-time artist and you feel like your posture isn't so great or you're having neck or back pains, I definitely recommend you checking out Flexi Spa. Maybe they have something for you. They also gave me a referral link for $15 off, so I will include that in the description box below. So big thank you to FlexiSpa. I really appreciate you guys sending me this new desk and I look forward to painting, creating new things on it and I just know that my back, my legs are just gonna really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. So 
I just got done working out. I finally went to the gym. I did a bit of cardio, a bit of weights. I actually really enjoyed working out before the pandemic. I loved going for like an hour, a couple times a week. I would do cardio, do weights. Like I really enjoyed lifting weights and I slowly just fell off and was unmotivated to work out. I mean, obviously the gyms closed because of the pandemic so we couldn't even go in just even finding motivation to work out at home it was non-existent for me the, the whole past year i was so unmotivated until now i'm barely starting to go trying to be consistent and because i mean i do spend so much time sitting and i'm not as active as i used to i need to start being more active and get back into it especially because i did enjoy it before and I do need to give myself breaks from being in front of the computer screen all day and just sitting and painting all day like yeah I need to find like a balance between everything and um, I'll probably chill out and not do anything art related it's kind of hard me and my sister we've tried taking breaks and like taking weekends off but it's just so hard like I've talked about this with my boyfriend too whenever we want to take like an official break and do like just nothing and nothing productive nothing work related like just chill and watch garbage tv i end up drawing for some reason we'll put on a show a movie and then like halfway through i'll be on my ipad trying to sketch trying to brainstorm the next thing yeah it's just really hard i guess especially for me i, I feel like i put pressure on myself because obviously i don't have all this time to dedicate to creating and painting and illustrating and the time that i do have free i feel like okay marlene you need to be productive you need to pump about like five paintings so you have something to post during the week while you're working and you don't have time to create while everyone else is like making all these masterpieces and I've been trying so hard not to think that way and just being easier on myself because I mean I am doing the best I can with the time that I do have and I just need to remember like you need to chill out this is not healthy um because obviously if i push myself this much i don't know how long i'll take it i'll probably get burnt out and then just get over it i feel like i'm putting this pressure on myself because i need to prove to myself that this isn't something crazy it's not a crazy dream that i've had since i was little like it's actually something realistic this can actually be a career this is something just seeing all these artists online and my favorite creators succeed really pushes me and gives me motivation to keep going because i feel like i can do it it's just a matter of time and but yeah i just need to remember to like slow down i've only started doing this like for a year so i can't expect it to happen overnight so i mean i'm just gonna keep doing it so i'm gonna go now because i've been sitting in my car and i'm getting nervous talking on my phone i don't know what i'm doing sometimes but i i'm trying so yeah i'm gonna go fill up on gas and i'll probably get some tea or boba it's currently really hot where i live it's 93 degrees um that's really hot for me and i hate hot weather <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna go get something to cool off and just refresh So this is how the illustration turned out, the one that you guys saw me working on in the car while we waited for dinner. Um, I really like how it turned out. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but if I zoom in, you can see that I've added like this noise texture layer. I think it adds a bit more to the illustration. I think like without it, it still looks cute. But let me see. It's hard to tell on camera, but so this is like without the noise texture layer, and then this is with it on. So you can kind of see the difference. But yeah, I'm really digging how this is looking, and I think it turned out really cute. It's funny because originally my plan was to illustrate this baguette in like a bag, but I couldn't figure out the layout for it and how I wanted it to spread. And then one morning I was eating waffles with strawberry jam, so I'm like, I'm just gonna illustrate my waffles. 
and yeah and then this came to life and I think it turned out really cute so it's currently 11 30 and I'm debating whether to go to the coffee shop or not I kind of just want to sit at a cafe and drink some coffee and doodle or sketch um but my sister is working she started her new job and so this is like the first day she's not with me and so if i go i'll probably go by myself um or i can wait and see if my little brother wants to go um he's currently in summer school so i might or might not pick him up i'm not sure if he needs a ride or he's gonna take the bus home but I might just wait till noon to see if he needs a ride and I'll pick him up and maybe he'll want to join me at the coffee shop. I'm not sure yet. Or I'll just go by myself. I need to learn how to do things by myself sometimes. If you see some footage of me at a coffee shop, you'll know that I ended up going.